So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add data analysis tool fact in Microsoft Excel. Now, you might have this data set, and also you might want to run Z-test, T-test, chi-square, goodness, fit test, ANOVA, you name it. Now, all you do, usually we look for data. Well, we click on data, and we look for data analysis. So it seems like it's there. Data analysis is there. All newer version will come with loaded data analysis analysis tools so data analysis you click and you choose the one you want now some older version doesn't have it for example if something like that you see data analysis is not here so all you're going to do click on analysis you're going to add in look for analysis tool pack this is what you are adding actually analysis tool pack click hit ok let it go and it's going to pop up data analysis that's what we're looking for now again you might not see none of this the older version of excel then we have to do something different let's guide you through so in older version of excel uh, we don't have that loaded data analysis is not loaded so what we're going to do well if you even click on data nothing is there it's empty so what we are going to do next since it's not there we're going to click on file we're going to click on file once we click on file go all the way down and look for option once we click on option another box is going to open up like this one which called general and we go all on the bottom down here and we're going to see add in once we click on add-ins, there is another box is going to open up here. And we're going to scroll all the way down and see, look for manage. So in the manage, if we see Excel ad scene in there already sitting, we don't have to do anything, we click go. If it's not selected, we have to select and let go. And once we click go, another pop up screen is going to show up it's going to say add in now there is a bunch of option here so this one analysis tool pack usually sits on the top so we check mark it once we check mark we click ok once we click ok something is going to pop up now so once once we click ok the data analysis pops up and we just click on data analysis and we do all sort of calculation hope you like it thank you